Okay, so today we're going to be showing you how to create a US iTunes account from anywhere in the world. The first thing we need to do is go into our settings and log out of our current iTunes account. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and select sign out. You need to enter your password, select turn off and confirm to sign out again. In order to create a US iTunes account today, we're going to be using a VPN. If you don't only have one, there's a tutorial of how to set one up below in the description. And there are instructions on how to create a free trial so you don't actually have to pay anything. This is safe for VPN. I'm just going to ensure that we're connected to the US. So it's just connecting now. And once we've done that, we're going to go back into our settings. As we don't have an Apple ID, we're going to select that. You can just go ahead and put your normal details in here. There's no need to put anything different. Obviously, your name can be the same. For your email address, though, it doesn't need to be a different one for your current Apple ID. So either create a new one or use an alternative one, but it does need to be a valid email address. And you can create a password for your new account. For your number, it's going to automatically pre-fill with your current number. However, you can use a different one if you like, and it doesn't need to be a US one to create a US account. Agree to the terms and conditions. And once that's signed in, you can enter your normal passcode here. So now you need to verify the new email address that you've just put in. So you select verify email address and you'll be sent a six digit code. You need to confirm that on here when prompted. So once you've done that, We'll go out of our settings and back into the app store. So now we can log into the new cre new account that we've just created. So you put your new account details in here. It might take a minute to sign in. Except review here because obviously we've never actually used this account before. It's only partially created. We've just done the basics at the moment so one of the things we obviously need to do is tell it what country we want so for example here we can you can use the same method to create an account for any different countries UK Canada Mexico example even Indonesia here so if we want to decide what an Indonesian account um, this is what we would do alternatively if you accidentally selected the wrong country you just go back into the list and obviously today we're going to be opting for US but so far, the process is exactly the same for whatever country you wanted to create. So you scroll down here, select on the country you want, agree to the terms and conditions, and then we're going to continue to the next stage. As this is a free account, we're not going to be putting any de payment details in, so just ignore that. It's already pre-filled to none. For the address, it does need to be a valid US address. For this, the easiest thing to do is probably go onto Google and just find a valid address. You can use, okay, use valid address. Um, we're going to use Florida as this means that we know sales tax if you do ever come to put credit in your account and use it. For the phone number, it doesn't need to be a valid number, but it does need to be the correct format. So make sure that you get that right. And then done. And continue and now your your account is ready to use if you wish to use your account for in-app purchases buying items films or music you can click on the link below to buy us itunes codes from mytunes.tv